it's time to talk about stocking stuffers. Hello everyone, it's Holly. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I do a lot of cooking, travel, homeschooling, and motherhood videos. In today's video, I am talking about stocking stuffers. Christmas is coming up soon and it is time to get those stuffers ready for the kids' stockings. And I personally like to fill my kids' stockings with non-candy items because face it, this time of year, they get so many sweets and treats already. Plus we just ended Halloween and we already have, at least in our house, tons of Halloween candy still sitting around. So yes, stockings for me, I like to keep non-candy items in them only. In today's video, I wanted to share with you all kinds of ideas that I came up with for my kids' stockings this year. I found a lot of great deals on things, as well came up with a lot of unique items that maybe you never thought about. So I'm hoping this video is helpful. Let's get into it right now as I share with you all my ideas for stocking stuffers. Here is all the items that I got for my kids' stockings. Most of these items are around a dollar, some are more. I'm going to go through each of these items, share with you where I bought them and how much I paid for them. I bought most of my items at Target in their dollar spot area. Some I bought at Dollar Tree, others at Walmart, and a few items at Five Below but Target Dollar Spot is definitely my go-to place now to look for items first because they still have a lot of dollar items while well, Dollar Tree has raised their price to $1.25, so I don't tend to get as many items there as I had in the past. But still, it can be a bargain to get some things there, so I do tend to still shop there and see what they have. I'll start first with the items I got at Target in their dollar spot area. I will always go to Target first to see what they have for a dollar before I go anywhere else. And I was very happy with all the things that I found there this year. First were these stretch caterpillar fidget toys. These were a dollar each and my kids really enjoy fidget toys. They love to play with them if we are on a road trip or sometimes when they're watching TV, they just like to move their hands and these look like a lot of fun. I was excited because there was four different colors so that way I can get all four of my kids a different color so they know whose is whose but I thought these would fit great in a stocking and they're unique. I had never seen them before for definitely I thought was a great stocking idea. Also at Target, for a dollar, I bought each of my kids one of these clips or kind of keychain looking toys that they can clip onto their backpack travel bag. But the cool thing is, is it is a flashlight. You squeeze it and you get a little flashlight. I just know my kids will love having these again for trips and just playing with. They love playing with flashlights in a dark room sometimes, but four different different kinds for each of my kids. I got my oldest daughter, Mickey, my second daughter, Minnie, then Paw Patrol for my son, and Disney Princess for my youngest daughter. I thought for a dollar, this was a great stocking find. Also for a dollar, I got this little planet puzzle that glows in the dark. I got this for my son. He loves things having to do with outer space. All my kids love puzzles. Just the fact that it glows in the dark was a bonus. So like I said, paid a dollar at Target for it. I thought it was kind of a fun little container that the puzzle was in itself. Will fit great in a stocking. Another puzzle that I got for my son is this 3D dinosaur puzzle. Again, paid a dollar for it, and it's just a unique puzzle. It looked like something fun to build. My son just really gets a kick out of building things in general and being challenged to do new things. I thought he would have fun with this. I believe they also sell puzzles similar to this at Dollar Tree. For more of a practical item, I have done character band-aids in the past. And believe it or not, my kids have actually got a kick out of getting different character band-aids in their stockings. They thought it was fun. I went ahead and got it for my youngest. She seems to be getting a lot of bumps and bruises lately, so we tend to go through a lot of band-aids. She always wants a fun one. For a dollar at Target, I got her these. 
Another practical item is scotch tape. Now, I am not joking. My kids have been requesting tape for Christmas. They go through so much tape because they're really big into arts and crafts, making things in general, hanging up stuff on the wall. So I made sure to get each of my kids a roll of tape. Target has a better deal on tape than Dollar Tree because it's a dollar for two rolls versus a dollar 25. Kids really enjoy tape and they are great to add to the stocking stuffers. Now for a couple items I considered a bit of a splurge for stocking stuffers. One was this flashlight projector. You can see I paid three dollars for this. This was from Target Dollar Spot but I thought it was a fun thing for my youngest to play with. She can get into a dark room or a closet and check out all the different pictures on the projector. Another $3 splurge is this wooden slingshot that I got for my son. What boy would not want a slingshot, right? I thought this would be fun. He could maybe do some target shooting with it, hopefully not use it as a weapon, but rather just enjoy playing with it. This will fit great inside of his stocking. And also for $3, I got this felt stocking ornament craft. My oldest has been interested in sewing lately and I thought she would enjoy doing this little craft that we can hang on the tree and put up every year. Again, just a fun stocking stuffer, but of course I did pay more than I like to for stocking stuffers. These are all the items that I bought at Dollar Tree. As I said before, they have raised their prices to $1.25, so I don't think it's as great as a deal, but still, it's not a whole lot. I got my three oldest kids some different types of pens, some gel pens, scented pens, and ballpoint pens that I thought they would enjoy because there's different colors. My kids always enjoy drawing pictures, writing things in different colors. It's definitely always a great idea to get kids this age a fresh set of pens or markers. For my two oldest girls, I got them both one of these gem sticker books. They can do different scenes with these fun stickers. These were $1.25 each. Also for $1.25, I got my youngest, this little paper doll, multiple scenes. She enjoys doing these little things now and then. And again, just something she can enjoy that will fit great inside of her stocking. For each of my daughters, I got them one of these Disney clips so they can clip onto their backpack or travel bag. They love Disney characters and I know that they will enjoy just having them on their bags and they will even play with them if we're on a road trip, $1.25 each. These plastic sea creatures here for $1.25 we have gotten in the past and my kids always enjoy watching these little toys grow. They grow pretty big too when you let them soak in water. So I got this one right here for my son. He seems like he really enjoys getting new ones. My oldest daughter enjoys doing word search puzzles. I got this one for $1.25 and I thought this one was a little extra fun because it had some adult coloring pictures in them which she also really enjoys coloring. These fans from Dollar Tree, I definitely was excited about for my three daughters. They had been talking before how they wanted to own some fans like this. So for $1.25, I actually thought it was a pretty good deal. I got each of my daughters a different pattern and they had actually quite a big selection at Dollar Tree. So if they still have them at Dollar Tree, I highly recommend getting them. They fit perfectly in a stocking once they're all closed up. My kids will definitely use these for playing or if we're going to a theme park or outdoor event in the summertime and they just want to cool off. Here's all the items that I got at Walmart. Now Walmart is always going to have great prices, but they don't always have a big selection of dollar items. I did get these fun socks for my kids a dollar each. I always do socks in the kids' stockings because face it, kids always need socks. Walmart has in the women's section a whole bunch of dollar socks that have either characters on them or fun designs. So check that out over in the women's sock section and there is a big variety there. Also at Walmart, I got these sort of slippers here for my youngest. 
These were, again, a bit of a splurge for a stocking stuffer. They were $5.48, but super soft inside. They look cozy for her to wear during the cold months. She loves the movie Frozen, so I know she will enjoy them. They'll fit perfectly as well in her stocking. They had other character designs there as well, so if you are shopping for a boy, you might want to go and check out what they have. Another idea for a non-candy item is to get your child a new toothbrush. Sometimes kids get a kick out of getting a brand new toothbrush on Christmas morning. My two older girls had been asking me for electric toothbrushes, so I saw these on clearance at Walmart and thought they were a pretty good price for them and they will fit great inside of their stockings. While they weren't super cheap, they were still almost 50% off the original price. And of course it is fun because they have characters on them. Always check out the Clarence at Walmart. It is hit or miss, but I have actually found some really great deals there in the past. Again, more practical items. For a dollar, I got my son a comb. He actually does not own his own comb, so I thought he would enjoy having one that was just his. And then for my oldest daughter, who is always needing to brush her hair, I got her this collapsible brush. This will be great. She can keep in her purse or backpack. It's fun because it also has a mirror on it. Only a dollar at Walmart. Now for the items I got at the store, Five Below. Five Below can also be hit or miss. However, you can find dollar items there. I got this packet of chapstick for all four of my kids. I'll just separate them and give them each one. But this packet here was $4.25, so a little over a dollar each for one thing of chapstick. I thought that they would enjoy having some fruit scented chapstick. Of course, this time of year and living in Colorado, they will need chapstick. And for a dollar each, I got my kids all different styles of hand sanitizer. I thought these were extra fun because they were Christmassy, wintry. They are also scented. So this way they can have a fun thing of hand sanitizer to keep in their backpack or travel bag. Now for an honorable mention. I have mentioned this in past videos I've done on stocking stuffers is I always do long sleeve t-shirts for my kids, particularly shirts that have either characters on them or graphics because my kids always need shirts and if I could find shirts for a great deal such as these ones here I bought from Carter's I think I paid about five dollars each for I usually roll them up and they fit great inside of the stocking so it is something I wanted to mention I do it every year and they always look forward to it well there you have it there is a bunch of great ideas for non candy items for stockings. I do hope that this was helpful and might have given you some ideas for keeping the candy out of the stockings. If you have any ideas for stockings, please write them down in the comments below. I would love to learn about some other items that I can use in the future. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Thank you again for watching and may you have a wonderful holiday season.